My name is Vajra Om. I teach yoga. Well, yoga, first of all, means union. All right? The word yog, yuch, yoke, to yoke. And you, and you might ask, what are you yoking? You're unifying the lower self with the higher self, the creative force in the universe. It's the union of the sun energies, the fire energies, the cooling energies in the body as well. All of us nowadays, people are stressed out, they feel like they're by themselves, but they don't realize they have this great divinity or creative force inside of them that makes them breathe, that makes their heart go. Because there's so many branches of yoga, but Hatha yoga is the physical branch. So starting with the physical aspect, which will still lead you to the other branches. Ha means sun, ta means moon. That's the type of yoga I teach. You get on the floor, you stretch your body. There's this book by this great yogi called Patanjali. And it's a very old book, and they have these little threads of knowledge. And the second one in the first book, it says, Yoga Chitta Vritti Narodaha. And what that means is that yoga, what true yoga is, is stilling the modifications of the mind, all the whirlings of the mind. And this is what the average everyday person, I'm sure we love to do, is have peace of mind. Yoga to me is fun. It's like I become very passionate, it makes me smile, and it makes me challenge myself. I'm, I've actually gotten stronger doing some arm balances and things like that. Yoga is for everyone. First of all, with all of that stuff, it's like, oh my God, the energy is like this. People are stressed out. I have people come to my class and say, my doctor told me I need to take yoga because they forget to breathe, to be in the moment. Their body has gotten stiff. They have pain. So once they start coming to the classes and start to breathe, inhale and exhale and use that movement with the breath, they notice that their mind gets a little bit stiller. Life doesn't seem as frustrating. I've had people who told me that, you know, for years now they're in the class, they don't get stressed out as much as they used to. So, yes, this is for everyone. Whoever is alive and breathes can do yoga. I would tell people who feel that they can't get on the floor to start with the chair. There's chair yoga, there's modifications of poses so that eventually your body will start to get stronger. And you would be surprised what you would do with that chair. They have bed yoga. If you're laying down, there's still poses that you can do. It helps with the range of motion. Move your body, keep it moving. Once you stop moving your body, people talking about they got arthritis. And it came to me the other day that arthritis is nothing more than rigor mortis setting in while you still have some breath in the body. So you want to breathe. Inhale, exhale, breathe. And be conscious as you breathe. Life is very quick. It's very short. And all we do is concentrate on all our worries or what has to be paid instead of being in the present moment. And by doing this yoga, it's going to help to pull you in the present moment and laugh.